Hi, I'm Mike Yeagley, the CTO of TempoDB, the time series database service. And today I'd like to talk to you about a new feature that we're introducing called multi-series aggregation. Now most of our read queries support reading over a single series. <clears throat> this endpoint allows you to um, query multiple series. And specifically, it allows you to apply a function to the values of multiple series at the same timestamp. So let's run through a quick example. Um, say you had a solar panel and you're measuring the current uh, denoted by letter I and the uh, voltage. So you have two series and you want to calculate the power that this panel is putting out. So as we know from physics class, um, power equals voltage times current. Um, so the way you could express this in the query is uh, by applying an aggregation function um, to multiply these values together. So the parameters for this endpoint, we've introduced a new one. Um, you can do rollups and interpolation like the single series, which are covered in other videos. We've added a new one called uh, aggregation.fold. And for this example, we would use the um, folding function mult, uh, which multiplies the values. So uh, let's take um, some data here. We've got two series, the voltage and the current, um, measured at multiple timestamps. Um, so for the first, at 1 o'clock, we've got a voltage of 2 and a current of 4. So the aggregation will multiply these values together to give you a power of 8. Um, at 2 o'clock, we've got a voltage of 3 and a current of 3. Multiplied gives you 9. And at 3 o'clock, um, something happened. So let's say your sensor missed a measurement or um, you know, the timestamps were a little off. Uh, we have a missing value at 3 o'clock. So the multiplication in this case would um, actually return 5 based on how it works. Um, but you can actually fix this problem using interpolation. Um, so if you ran an interpolation on these two series, you could actually move the 4 up to the 3, the uh, 3 o'clock position, um, and then multiply them. So you can get the answer, which would be 20, um, and so on. So uh, this endpoint takes these two input series, the voltage and the current, multiplies each of the values, and the output is a single series, which is this power column. column. So this is a quick overview of multi-series aggregation. If you'd like to look, learn more about it, you can visit our uh, developer docs on the website. Again, I'm Mike Eagley, and thanks for watching.